It's going quite well. I'm sorry to intimidate or scare at all. Uh, yeah, yeah, no, no worries, no worries. Listen, talking about intimidation. It's like the red penguin. <clears throat> I heard that you and uh, the ballers came down when I was gone, and you came to the scrapyard. And uh, had done some intimidating yourselves. Is this um, true? I don't think it was intimidation. I think it was kind of just like laying it out. Like, it wasn't a kind of uh, intimidation, to be honest. It was kind of because it was, it's a, uh, once again, I don't, I don't think it's my place to speak on this. Um, but it was more of a, we figured some things out and it was, it rubbed us the wrong way. Uh, well, rubbed the mandem and the ballers the wrong way. And, and uh, basically, he just said, you know what? I don't know if you guys have like, cause you know, you know, the madam have like Monday meetings. Um, I don't know if mm -hmm. you guys have like weekly meetings, whatnot, yeah. like what's going on. But uh, some shit happened. Uh, the meeting came up, you know, like communication gets through, all that good shit, and some some things happened uh, to Patar and Denzel. How do you put your hands behind your back, chat? Something's happened Which, to Patar and Denzel. Yeah, yeah. Basically, it felt like it was a setup. Um, after we've seen, I don't know whose car that is. But to top, once again, I'm just relaying. Once again, all right. I'm, I want to make sure you understand I'm relaying. Uh, it was more of a, we felt it was snaky behavior. And it, I, you know, like it was just, it was, I won't even call it snaky behavior because there was already a, a conflict over that spot, if you get what I'm saying, right? Okay. Yeah, that, that's what it was. Um, do the ballers have hands in it? Yes. Ballers do have hands in it. It's uh, it is, it is split straight down the middle. But e Yes, Dean, but you need to understand from my perspective. Mm -hmm. I uh, return and I hear that you might not think it's intimidation, but you alongside five other Manda members, alongside six other baller members, come down to the front of the scrapyard come inside to the scrapyard and disclose that you do not fuck with rust anymore. Right. And listen, I understand that certain things might be misconstrued, you know, through certain mm -hmm. actions. But if you wanted to communicate something like this, you could have just come alongside one of your members or one of your boys and just said it. Don't you think bringing 12 people to a meeting is some sort of intimidation. Mm, I could see, I could see where it could be. Once again, it, it could be misconstrued at a, a as intimidation, you know. But uh, you're not wrong on that. You, I, I could see where you're coming from for that. But the thing is, um, you, you guys might not agree. Uh, you guys might not agree, but or might not confess to it. But y'all know what y'all was doing. In that area. And when we see your cars multiple times around the block, you know, it's just. You know, it's just. No, I, I'm going to stop you on that one. I just wanted to hang out with people, man. I mean, Perez, you think I don't want to hang out with you? I I, I was like, because I was straight up. That was me the three days with uh, Kitty and Dawn and whoever the fuck was around. I'm just like, right, mm -hmm. the city kind of feeling, you know. Right. I just want to go hang out with people like. I don't know. I guess you guys just took it the wrong way. Uh, is what it is. Yeah, that, that came from generally, I just want to hang out with people, so. Listen, nonetheless, I don't really uh, particularly mind or care what your uh, assumption of what my boys were doing. I think the more important thing is, I, not that I'm aware of my boys had done anything at this point, right? Right, right. It's just, once again, it's just us for, for our safety. Like, that's what the boys uh, made the plan. Like, listen, once again, I'm not in that position to... Make any calls, you know what I'm saying? I just follow orders right now. And Dean's technically hanging around, so. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Well, unfortunately, I, I mean, I wish there was some more people I could speak to right now, but I'm yeah, not sure who else is you around. Could talk, you could definitely talk to Patar. I think Patar and, uh, you could definitely talk to Patar. Okay. Sure. I will. Uh, he'll clear it up. But I'm just, it I'm going to just, uh, you know, clear it up. But yeah, I know, keeping it 100 with you as well. To be honest, having 12 people come down to my block and essentially intimidate my boys is something that usually I would uh, not take empty-handed. And, right. and to be honest, the reason I haven't acted yet is because I do want to speak to you all. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. Um, I could just I could get that. Uh, what, what's that? If, if you have a time in mind, uh, I don't know how long you'd be around for. Uh, I'll be around for the next few hours. Yes. If you want to set up some sort of right. meeting, it could just be a small meeting. Yeah. Yep. Too easy. Um. But once again, with no intimidation, I'm pretty sure the boss will be there. That is fine. Okay, I just want you know what I'm saying. I just want to make sure you know. You know what I'm saying? Like so there's, won't be like, there's oh, a man. difference between the ballers being there and people coming twelve deep. Do you understand? Right, right, right. Okay. Ray, if it makes you feel any better, brother, like there was no ill intention nor uh violent intentions when we did pull up to the block. And that's where too. I get it, but it was taken that way. And I hope you yeah, do yeah. you do get that as well. Yeah, no worries, no worries. I'll let Patar know and um yeah, we could definitely, yeah. Uh, uh, I'll call you in like 15 to 20. All right, understood. Have a good one, Dean. I'll All see right, you around. You guys be blessed, okay? Young girl.